Hi guys, Alexia here, Team Shady Graveler. Yeah, I've got to get that right. <laughs> like, in my mind, it's always stuck at Team Shady Pilgrims. Uh, if you don't know uh, Team Shady Pilgrims, Pilgrims, that was my team with Alan that... Uh, we went with to for Cape Epic last year. We call ourselves Team Shady Pilgrims. A bit about the shady name. Maybe you've had you've had me mentioning it uh, several times, but you wonder where it comes from. So I found myself in a bunch of uh, in a group of. Uh, uh, some mountain bikers uh, a lot of them quite eccentric to say the least um, and if I'm not wrong I'm the one who started calling them the shitty bunch um, I know some people will say that it's because they used to meet at Shade Hotel fine but they never used to call themselves the shadies at that time so when I joined them, I joined them through a guy called Alex Tibuta and um, yeah, they welcomed me and soon I was riding with the shady guys and that's how the group eventually became called the Shady Bunch. Now it's called the Shady Riding Club. You have to be a shady character to be one of us. That's on a lighter note. We are not shady in that sense of the way. In that sense of the of the meaning of the word. But yeah, so <clears throat> when we were going to for Cape Epic, we decided to um, embody part of our shadiness and also um, sort of like embody the adventure or the pilgrimage we are making to uh, for the Cape Epic so we call ourselves the Shady Pilgrims so now here I am graveling I never thought I would gravel so now I'm the Shady Graveler so anyway guys uh, welcome to the fourth update uh, today was the fourth rest day it's almost Tuesday. I'm sorry again. I'm a bit late. Uh, I'm gonna make this quite quick. Not much to cover. Um, so first, I'd just like to share the beautiful picture you can see on my desktop there. That's Lake Elementaita. I took my bike out there. I stayed at a lovely place called Kikope Beach Resort. So, um, if you're ever in the like Elementator area, try and uh, stop by there. It's a lovely small place, very homely. A, a nice lady called Judy is the one who runs the place. Very welcoming, very accommodative. So, if you're in that area, pay her a visit. Again, Around Elementaita, quite unexplored, lots of uh, cross-country options. Uh, you have Mount Eberu right next to Lake Elementaita. I think maybe it's a 30 minute ride from there. Beautiful ride. You have the forest at the top of Mount Eberu. Uh, I think they have the Sita, Sita Tunga antelope like that's the only place they're found and then on the other side of the highway uh, you have the highlands that now take you all the way to um, Subukia and um, uh, what else we rode the Toby uh, the other day up there so a lot of riding options the only problem 
it's not a problem, but the only thing you need to be aware of, a lot of the soil around there is black cotton soil. If it rains, it's nightmare. So, but a lovely place. Anyway, guys, today's update, as I said, uh, fourth rest day. It's the end of uh, uh, August. I would say August was a good training block. Uh, we got some fitness. Uh, they say figures uh, never lie, do they? But in terms of figures, this is how we are looking at. Um, so here we go. First week, we were 267. Second week, we went to 392. Third week, we almost doubled it to 769. This is in terms of volume. I think and then last week the week that ended on Sunday we sort of dropped down in terms of, vol of volume and yes uh, definitely the volume was less the number of days of activities was more than the previous week but the the volume in terms of kilometers is a bit less and there's reasons for that uh, yeah I think we talk about it so yeah, so so that's how the week looked like. That's with the 6th August to 1st September. And sorry, I just jumped into the training update. Sorry. <laughs> so very quickly, on the fundraiser update, nothing significant to report. Remember I said we hit our target. Um, one or two guys had pledged and... Uh, um, some people have come through uh thank you very much um but we've hit our target uh, i'm good for now and uh, again thanks a lot to everyone that's on the fundraising um front the money is still with them changa i've not withdrawn it uh i'll withdraw it um once i do the visa interview yeah and then we see whether we're getting the visa or not then that's the first time uh, i'll touch that money and uh book a ticket or something depending on how will they tell me at the visa interview so yeah so that's the fundraiser update to the travel update again not much to report uh we have the visa interview in about two weeks time uh i'm working on getting the paperwork done uh they want bank, st bank statement they want um they want uh, uh, where you're gonna stay for accommodation. Um, they want the invitation invitation letter, which I have the invitation email. I'll go with that. I'm trying to get the the federation to write a letter, also an official letter to just say that uh, people are, are going. So that's on the on the on 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 the travel front. Uh, again, not much to report. So we come to the training updates. I don't want to make it this long because there are quite a bit of things I want to cover. So as I said, those are the figures. Uh, for um, those are the figures for in terms. This is from Strava. <clears throat> it just shows you your volume, your workload. And when we go to training picks. This is what we get in training picks. So in training picks, first week, fitness 52. Not first week, that's the pre-training before we, we started on the first. So before we started, it's 52. After one week of, of training, we went to 54. Uh, second week, we went to 64. So that's a jump of 10. Then third week, we went to uh, 74, another jump of 10. And then um, fourth week, we increased by four. So that's like half of the normal increment. And that's because our volume went down. And you can also see we shed some fatigue here. Uh, and our form also improved a bit. So... Yeah, in terms of figures, as they say, figure numbers don't lie. Those are the numbers. The numbers say 
there's steady improvement. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, I'm hoping by end in the next four weeks, by end of September, we hit um, 100 fitness. Because I think that was the kind of uh, form I had just before I went for Cape okay, Epic. So let's see where, where we'll end up. Remember, the fitter we get, the, 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 the more marginal the, the, the increment is going to be. So, for example, when you are at 52, we are pretty much untrained. So, jumping to 60, you know, you just do two or three good workouts and you jump. But now, as you become fitter and fitter, uh, as they say, the gains are marginal. So let's see how far we can push it. All right. <clears throat> now, if we come to the training log, that's our training log. So this was last week, training week four, August 26th to September 1st. And you can see we had um, a zone two right here. We had a structured ride. We had a run. We had another structured ride. We had another zone two ride on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I had, uh, remember I told you I had uh, a TT, an MTP TT. We're gonna, we'll go over uh, that just now. But that's how our training uh, log uh, looks like for last week. I'm glad I got in that run. Yeah, so um, let's see. Uh, so four weeks of training we made progress um so let's come to the highlights of uh week training four which was last week and there are three highlights so one the first highlight was the first structured workout the second highlight was the second structured workout and the third highlight was the race the tt race so you know over the past three weeks, before week four, I was doing a lot of zone two. And I would say it was really easy on my body. The minute, the day I did the first structured workout, man, that night I felt it. Like the next day when I woke up, I felt like I had done something. You know, even when we did this uh, Loop Vipingo 120 kilometer race, the next day I woke up and I did a 50 kilometer ride in Voi, and it was like almost like I had recovered completely. That fast structured set really hit me. And um, this is the set here. There's a only 35 kilometers, about one hour, but you can see the my weighted average was 227 watts. For the zone two rides, when you look at the zone two rides, I do, um, for example, this one, it will hardly hit. It will hardly hit a weighted average of a hand, of 200. It will always be around. I think I've hit 190 once. Um, it will be mostly around this much. Yeah, so when you see you're hitting 220, not even 200, 227, that's a, a big one. And this was more or less the structure. So the, these were the two main sets, this and this. And over here, I had to hold um, 255 watts for 10 minutes. And over here, I had to hold 255 watts for 15 minutes. And that was tough. So my my so on the trainer my FTP is set us it's set us at two sixty six. That's what I had set it as uh, when I was finishing my epic training and I, I've just left it there. So at ninety percent of that you are looking at around two fifty five, and that's what uh, we were doing in this set. So that was a tough set. But I'm glad I did it because, you know, you crash the zone two workouts, you can ride for three hours at 200 watts and you think that, you know, you're strong or that, you know, 
like you can do anything and then you just do a short workout like this and that's when you realize huh yeah so this was sort of like i don't know if you can see it a bit let me see let me try and get another one so this was sort of the workout two minutes at 135 two minutes at 150 this is just warm up the main set was this 10 minutes at 255 and then 15 minutes free ride so in this 15 minutes they were saying you should be able to do your ftp which is supposed to be 260 so i guess between 255 and 260 there's not much of a difference but i couldn't hold 260 for 15 minutes so i did 255 so i managed to hold 255 for 15 minutes so that was a tough one anyway that was structured workout one and here is the structure structure workout two which were which was basically over unders so over unders is uh you go above your ftp so i was holding over here i was holding um here i was holding 295s then you drop down to uh 235 so 295 for 30 seconds you drop down to 295 235 for two minutes these were tough these were actually tougher than these middle ones these middle ones you are holding 345 for 30 seconds but then after that you rest completely you drop down to like 150 watts so you really get to rest but these ones from 255 you're dropping to just 235 so not much difference and that drop from 255 to 235 it's actually a very painful drop because you are letting go of effort but not like completely <laughs> yeah you're just letting go a bit so it's like you have to stop yourself somewhere in the middle and you really feel it in your legs and you can see that's where I hit like I think my high BPM. So my highest watts I was 496. That's about 500. And the, the beats, those are the highest heart rate, 263. Yeah. So that was the second structured workout. So and here you go. So you have, so you can see two minutes at 235, 30 seconds at 295. This was the tough one. This one and this one. These ones were not so hard because you're just doing 30 seconds at 345 then 30 seconds at 135 but you drop to 135 and you like you're resting 135 is like almost nothing yeah and this was also a high cadence workout uh you are most of these were supposed to be done like 110 or 100 i'm not comfortable at doing at one, 110 i think i can injure myself easily especially if you're you're not used to it so i was doing it a bit less at 90 or 100 yeah so anyway those were the two structured workouts quite tough uh i have two this week i'm going to discuss them just now but those were the two out of three highlights for the week and the third highlight was the race and here is the race we spoke about the race uh, in the last video I told you guys that um, in 2021, I did 126 minutes, <clears throat> one hour, 26 minutes. And I said for this one, if I got anything below 120, I would be happy. And I'm happy to report that we got 115. The official time, according to the timers, was about 116. But my moving time was... Uh, 115 that makes sense because I, I stopped to drop my pressure um i would say five five of this one this was one hour 26 minutes five of these minutes was due to the weather when we did this in 2021 it had rained it was muddy so i would remove just six minutes just for the weather and the conditions and that's why i said if i got anything below 120 i would be happy because then that means now it's my effort yeah and here we go we got 115 
Uh, it was a good one. Uh, the only mistake I made the previous night, I added a bit of pressure in the tires to 20. I normally ride less than 20, uh, maybe like 16 PSI. Um, but I added to 20 because I thought, because it hadn't rained, I thought the, um, the course would be like dry and hard packed and that I would be able to carry a lot of speed. And when I do that, I like a bit more pressure in the tires so that you can hit the, you don't have to worry about hitting rocks and stuff. But unfortunately, um, when you were in the forest, we started early, we started 9 a.m. When you were in the forest, because of the Chikawa, it was still moist and wet and slippery on the rocks, especially on the rocks. On the really steep sections, I couldn't climb. So I had to stop and drop both front and rear pressures. That took me at least a minute or even two. So I would say my actual time would have been maybe about 114, 113. But anyway, it was a nice race. I took it easy. Uh, I took it as a training race. I did not push too hard. I didn't want to go into the into the red zone again. I could feel my legs. Those two structured efforts, I could. I felt like I felt them like the whole week from the time I did the first one. Yeah, as opposed to the previous weeks when I was just doing uh, the zone twos. The zone twos, I would wake up the next day and it's like I did not try it. So, so yeah, so during this race, I felt, I felt those two structured workouts. So I really took it like, uh, easy and I'm happy with my performance. Uh, when I consider the amount of, uh, workload I've had, uh, of training and I could still like push, uh, and my average weighted power was 245, which is not bad. Uh, I would say that was okay. So. If I was a bit more rested, I think I would be able to push maybe another 5 or 10% more. If you look at the heart rate here, again, a lot of tempo. Yeah, this one, yeah, I didn't push. So uh, I, uh, that's why maybe I didn't go into the threshold. Or maybe I was just fatigued and that's why I couldn't go like push harder than that. But I tried not to push. Let's see, what else do you want to see here? Power curve, ah, not much. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, so those were the three highlights of the week. So one was the structured, uh, the, with uh, this, the structured workout one, 255 for 10 minutes. And then structured workout two was um, uh, over unders, over unders. The race went well. Um, so yeah, so that's okay. So, um, and that's pretty much it for the training. I just want to highlight, um, I want to highlight, uh, the, the, the program for this coming week, week five, training week five that starts tomorrow or rather today, it's two minutes past midnight today. So today I'll do a zone two. Uh, so uh, I'll try and do like maybe a one or one and a half hour just zone two ride. On Wednesday, I'll do a structured workout. On Thursday, sorry, on Wednesday. On Thursday, I'll do another zone two. On Friday, I'll do uh, another structured workout. So two structured workouts for the week. Saturday, I'll do a short run of maybe five kilometers just to uh warm up and on sunday i have a half marathon that's the the nairobi city marathon 21 kilometers and i just want to show you as i told you i've ran i've run the 21 kilometers only once and that that was this and i got two hours and nine minutes so my target is two minutes uh, two hours uh if i get anything at two hours, I'll be happy. It's gonna be tough, but that's my uh, target. Let's see how close I can get to that. And the trick is, so right now I've 
had more running in my legs than when I did this turn chart. So hopefully that will help. And in this turn chart, the mistake I made, if you look at this, I went out too hard. Look at that. 503, 452, 503, 501, 4, 514. So you see those, those first kilometers, I was just running like a fool. So, and then look after, so I, I managed to hold it for 10 kilometers, lap 10. On the 11th one, I just said, okay, like, you know, it's not, uh, what do I normally say? I'm not being paid. So <laughs> I just relaxed, but that's the mistake I made. Yeah. So here you go. 503, 452, 503, 501. So this is the mistake I made. So what I want to do, this was the last one I did last week. This is what I want to do. Can you see like a more average pace? 544, even that's too fast. I want to do like my pace. If I do a six minute pace, I should be like just below a six minute pace. I should be able to hold that for two hours, that's the thing. So if I just do this, 548, 551, 548, 551, around that much, hopefully I'll manage. So yeah, if I can do 11 kilometers in one or two, that means 22 kilometers in two or four. So yeah, around that much. So that's the plan guys. So uh, next, um, Rest day, I'll update you on how it goes. And I think that's it. I don't make it too long. I've talked a lot. Again, guys, thank you for your support. Um, we meet again next Monday. Uh, and until then, stay tuned and stay shady. So again, uh, I was a bit late. Uh, today because I was trying to edit a video for for a race I did last year but it's coming up again at the end of this month and it's like a one hour um, video so and you know you have to go through it two or three times uh, first you make the edits then you have to make you go through it to make sure the edits okay so it took a bit of time so if you have some time go check it out on the channel Subscribe uh, to support the channel. Leave a comment. Um, thank you for your support. Stay tuned. Stay shady. Alex, I'm out.